Hi, I'm Zeke Jones. I'm the United States Wrestling Freestyle Coach, and we're excited about uh, sharing with you freestyle in the world today. It's really important that we not only understand what we're doing in our country to make ourselves better as an American wrestling team, but it's also important that we know what's going on in the world today of freestyle, what techniques, strategies, tactics are prevalent by the Europeans, the Asian countries, so that we can be ready when we meet them in world competition. Most importantly, we want to give that information to you so you can become a better wrestler, a better coach, and uh, help America be the number one wrestling team in the world. In freestyle in the world today, we're running into a technique that's very prevalent overseas in Europe, and we're really putting time into this technique because one, we got to learn to counter it, two, we can use it effectively uh, ourselves, we can use this as a scoring action. It starts with an underhook position, controlling the tie up. Ray's going to take his underhook position. Now he's going to start to use his underhook. We go to the single leg position, side by side. Steve Bell takes a single leg position. Derek ends up in a wizard kick position. Now, if Andy can just take one and take the single leg and finish it, great. Or take the single leg, takes the single leg to the finish, all the way to the finish position, the scores. Okay, what happens when we try to take that single leg position is his partner will counter by squaring up. So Andy goes with single leg, his partner squares up, Andy's going to come into the Mets great position. Single leg, he squares up, Mets great position. And again, remember one point on that too, is as he uses his underhook, he's starting to press that guy to the edge of the mat. So he takes his underhook, moving him to the edge, going to the single, partner squares up, Mets great position. The third part of that series is Andy's going to go underhook to the single, from the single to the Metzger. His partner's going to take his hips way back so he can't reach in for the Metzger, and Andy's going to come up in a double underhook position. Single leg, he squares up, he goes to the Metzger, hips are back, it's a bear hug. Same thing, goes to the underhook. Single to the master, to the bear hug, to the score. That series is very effective because as he runs that series from single to Metzger to the bear hug, even if he doesn't get the bear hug deep, he's got his partner on the or his opponent on the edge of the mat. Underhook, single, Metzger, bear hug, and score. Point. Good. And then let's finish it with. Trying to get your double underhook, you know, get your double underhook, bear hug, snap, or headlock, or like that. So the series is going to run four things in a row. Single leg, single, medster, bear hug, snap, or headlock, spin. Why that front headlock, snap, spins is very successful is as he starts to press his opponent to the edge of the mat, that guy pushes back in, snaps, and goes behind. So we want to start working on that skill because I think it's very important. It, it reinforces several things. It reinforces controlling the tie-up. It reinforces that he's running a series, A, B, C, D. And three, that series is a good series because it puts a guy on the edge of the mat as you execute it. 